baby girl the baddest she, bad. she got her own cars, own house Keep her bills paid, bust down 30 inch, yeah that house slay I send her to the bitch, her name chat She got them edges laid Hey y'all, so I thought I had left my SD card and I did not, but I just want y'all to get into my hair. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I ate that up. Let me see how I can sit this up somehow but yeah and this wig is from wig dealer it's one of my february campaigns that i had to do and i put like some layers in it and i love it but right now i'm at the studio um brie trilla is doing a music video today i had did her hair last night and so we're actually shooting the video to one of her um her latest drops. I'm not sure if it's out, but if it is out, we about to shoot the music video to it. So I'm hype. I got on my jacket from Ari J. Co. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'm a Jonesboro. But for real though, this hair is just so bomb. Like y'all, I'm telling y'all, y'all have to upgrade y'all products. Upgrading your products is the only way your hair is gonna look like this. And like y'all see, it's not frizzing up or nothing. It's so soft. It's so soft. And what's crazy is I had this product before. I um I ran out and I just decided not to get any more. And like it's been showing in my work that. I ain't really been using that product, but I got it back, and you can see the flow in my, the flowiness in my hair, like, I'm not gonna, like, I'm gonna keep using that product, because that's the only way I see, like, how my work just looks so flawless, 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 for real, for real, so, yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, shop my coat from Wig Dealer, and use some money off. If you're interested in becoming a successful wig influencer, you want to know how to dominate the hair industry, you want to know how to build up your business, scale your business, really brand yourself. Because me, Chesky and Jay, I don't brand myself around Chesky and Jay because I'm Chesky and Jay, the crazy of it. So, if you want to learn how to do that, I do have all of my guys available for $21 each. It is my birthday month! <laughs> It's my birthday month, so enjoy my guys for $21 each. I highly prefer that you grab all six of them, the Craze Digital Pad 2.0 for a full out experience of my knowledge for real, for real. So, bye. Couldn't beat me at playing chess. You can't, you can't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She a masterpiece. Yeah. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> I done like jumped on live. I, um, no, it is, I was live it is on Instagram. Instagram. It is I was live on TikTok. Now I'm live on Instagram. Yeah, I took that line out. Something like that. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Y'all ain't talking about none, or I ain't talking about none. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, shit. So, uh, it is the next day, and. Uh, Everything was everything. Uh, um, the music video went fire for Keep It P. So now I have a client here. She came all the way from North Carolina. 
she found me. She said she always um, she always watched my videos on TikTok and Instagram. So we're about to get her in right now. I'm customizing her wig. And yeah, I'm gonna show y'all how to install it when we're done. Stop. Got my pizza going. Well, I didn't eat like one slice. I should have just grabbed one slice. I don't know what I was thinking. And it is 3.49. And now I'm up. I'm just up. Making some money. It is Sunday and I just came up with a million dollar idea. Seriously. Seriously. Uh, whoa. So y'all, I um I think I completely have all of the products that I want in my um like on my online store and I think I have everything. Everything has came together. Like my affiliate links. Like y'all. Y'all need to take advantage of that. Like if y'all purchase. Say for instance. Like you purchase. You purchase. Like I have people right now. Like I got some a girl that she promotes through my through her YouTube channel. Basically she has um, her affiliate link with my products. So every time somebody buys a product from her description box she gets like five dollars so say for instance y'all i have like a four hundred dollar product so if you sign up for my affiliate program say for instance okay so now you can share your link with your followers every time you use a you make a video at the um out of the you know you make a video about the product and you can have your link in your link tree. You can have it in your bio, your beacons, your what's the in store. Uh, what's another one? Anywho, so 15%, just imagine, what is 15% of a $400 product? We're going to do this in the calculator. <laughs> We're going to do this in the calculator. Okay. 15% times 400. So, if we do 15% out of 400, you'll be getting $60. But say, for instance, we bump that that percentage off into what you'll be getting. So, you'll be getting $60 every sale. So, imagine you sell that product to five people. And this product has master resale rights. So, if you buy the course, you'll be able to resell it at the same price you can't go lower than 387 dollars you can go higher i know some people that sell the course for 500 some people even sell the course for 800 so just imagine it's a 25 percent um you get a 25 percent discount code 25 percent times 387 you'll be getting almost a hundred dollars promoting your affiliate link with the course and then on top of that you're actually helping people into digital marketing you can resell the course as many times you want make content on it like all type of stuff and still get money back from each sale that you make wow wow so just imagine you sell this to 10 people times 10 you just made a rack just like that off a video like off one video couple videos and just having the affiliate link, like you getting your money back, like you like constantly getting your money back. Like if you was to purchase the course and then you resold it, you having people buy the course and then people who buying the course, they can promote their, their affiliate link and you constantly getting money. They constantly getting money back from, um, from money back from them promote to their audience and it's just spreading to more people more people more people and they're getting money paid off of it i highly recommend affiliate links because that is dope like the more exposure the more somebody can get paid so yeah i love that it's like an equal bargain there <laughs> 
So we about to head off the church. It's currently 10.05. The service started at 10. So we about to go head there now. Finished it. Don't mind my big forehead. Pretty girls have big foreheads. But I'm finishing y'all my lace look. And it's still on my head. Yeah. Yeah. And that's on my lace glue. Mm hmm. Finish y'all what my bottom look like. In case y'all don't know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about. God dang, bro. Hair just be everywhere. Um, I'm a hairstylist. So I'm talking about my get crazy adhesive, baby. Got my wig stuck. And y'all gonna see my video on Instagram. I have my head all up in the water. It's currently Monday, so that's the end of the weekend vlog. Hope you guys enjoy. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I'm sorry that I didn't get any of my clients um, that I took in my video, but y'all can check out my Instagram page, my hair page for the clients that I did get. And baby, we ate down. I had a girl come all the way from North Carolina. She said that she had been seeing my content all over TikTok and Instagram, and she wanted to check me out. So that's super litty. And then she had dreads, ate that. Had another lawyer client, she came. I did her hair for the Eric Bella Jean Bella Jean Eric Bellinger. Um, dang, I messed that up. Eric Bellinger concert. And yeah, my weekend was awesome. Scared money don't make no money. That's what I learned at church. Fear is the root of all Ill, evil. Like when you boil down to like why you feel like you can't do certain things, it's because of fear. Like really write down the excuses that you give yourself like oh like y'all probably to set dang i cannot talk like y'all probably be telling y'all self oh i can't do this until then i can't do this until then but god literally has provided us with all of the resources that we need so yeah scratch for out the equation and watch how god work bye y'all make sure y'all like comment and subscribe <laughs> why is it 6 a.m and i never like i never took my wig off and i forgot to because my wig hold on let me get this thing so i can sit this camera up i'm about to make the only fans i said i've been saying i've been saying i was gonna be a millionaire by 21 and with me being like on social media like i strictly make money off of social media so when i started everything i had a personal page i had a hair page i got a products business page i just got pages on pages on pages so um my hair page and my products page is mostly like it's like uh what do you say 89 percent women but when I didn't like, I wanted to keep it separate. Like I wanted to keep it like, okay, this is my personal 
and this my hair page well both of them started blowing up at the same time and it's just so happy my personal page and end up having like way more followers than um all my pages so with my personal page it's like a it's like so many men on there like it's just like if i was to go into my my total followers and i actually look at the the men the women ratio it overpowers it and like with my content men don't want to look at no hair stuff so i'm gonna give them like something i'm gonna give them like something that's clickbait to help monetize this account because like i said like what's the point of having social media if you're not making any money from it um professional dashboard i'm talking about that deal true well hair do look a mess though <laughs> Ooh, hold on, look on my hood. Okay, total followers, 104,000. See, look at this. It says 81% men and like 18.4% women. So... I'm gonna do 18.4. It did end up going up. I can't wait. It it keep lessening. I keep having too many dudes following me. 8.5 times 104. It's only 19,000 women that follow me. So and that's like almost 90,000 like men that follow me so I am going to do something that's going to monetize that personal account I feel like that's only right because I don't post um I pretty much post clothing um I like to dress fully like clothed that's just like how I like to present myself but I do have some spicy pictures but they just don't get posted <laughs> so like you know, I don't want to be one of those ones that, like, I don't want to be, like, you know, like, posting it for free on social media. Like, the bathing suit pics are cool, but when you have, like, a platform like that, you could easily, like, you know, make money off of it. So, that's how I'm going to do it. <laughs> and that's the only reason why, like, I haven't done it because I was scared. Like, I was just scared of a good perception of me and like honestly once you get to a certain age you don't care about people's perception of you because like i found myself talking about people with only fans and i low-key wanted to do it <laughs> like i want to do it in some type of way and so now i don't figure out the way that i want to do it and why would why would i run from easy money like that's easy money like especially if i teach people how to monetize social media that can be like something else that i add in my ebook like make only fans people only scared of only fans because of the name that people have made it to be like and that just goes into you fear having fear of somebody talking about you only god can judge you <clears throat> so yeah my account is being approved <laughs> and yeah like i'm already knowing how this gonna go with me doing hair and meet me in a long time hairstylist it's gonna be a lot of commotion about me having the only fans um shoot i'm gonna get talked about and that is what i want because my name has already been ringing about um how much i charge for installs and so, like, my content really going to be coming back to back to back. And my name is going to be ringing, ringing, ringing. That's just how I want it to be. And that's how I'm going to hit mainstream. <laughs> I'm going to be one of those. I'm going to be, like, I'm going to be, like, a mainstream celebrity type type time. And, like, I'm known as being an influencer, hairstylist, business owner, e-commerce. And, shoot, 
added OnlyFans to it, because why not? I mean, I got that personal page with 100,000 followers. It's not monetized at all. Like, my, my social media is monetized off my Facebook account, my TikTok, my, um, my hair page, and I'm slowly working on getting that business hair products account to be monetized. But it kind of gets a little, like, overwhelming a little bit. But like I said, I've been supposed to monetize that personal account. So, yeah, like OnlyFans was, I feel like that was that was the way for real, especially with the type of audience that I have on there. And I could not help the type of audience that I had on there. Like that audience been on that account since I start blowing up. And that was like in 2022. In 2022, like when all my posts start going viral, it was like way more men following me than women. So yeah, and then, I don't know, I really don't care for that account, like, but when having those, all those followers, I did have to Okay, cool. Like, I need to come up with a way to monetize this, like, seriously. Because most of those women, they follow me on my hair page. So, it's like, they already kind of seeing the same stuff. And, yeah, I'm pretty sure when I post this OnlyFans, it's going to be attracting way more people to my page. It's going to be attracting way more people to my hair business. Way more people into being in my business. And... Yeah, because what? They gonna hit on a bitch that's doing it. <laughs> ah. But yeah, y'all, the goal is multiple streams of income. And with me being a full entrepreneur, I gotta stop blocking my bag. Like, if that's like, come on now, like, why would I like keep using fear to stop me from getting my bag? People can say whatever they wanna say. Like, as long as I ain't, like, you know, doing, like, ah, up there, like, do do whatever. Like, if, even if you want to do that, shoot, do what you feel is needed. Hell, like, be yourself. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the explanation on that. In case there is some people that want to know why I did it. It's a marketing technique. It's a marketing tactic. I'm the I'm gonna be testing out, and it's gonna be added to my ebook, uh, followers to dollars. <laughs> I'm a marketing goat, bro. Marketing goat. I just be scared of my own ideas sometimes. So we are out of that. I'm about to be 21, and like, let's see. I'm about to be 21 in 22 days. Oh my God, three weeks. Oh my God. Time to make some shape. I told myself I was waking up every day at 4 a.m. Alexa, set a timer for 25 minutes. Alexa, set a timer for 25 minutes. 25 minutes, starting now. Right, y'all, I'm about to go, um, about to take my wig off. About to take a shower, brush my teeth, and do all that, and figure out if I'm wearing a wig or what I'm doing. Y'all, babe, as soon as I took that cap off, and I took the rubber band from the back, my hair just said, Poo. I knew my hair was going to get like that because I had put the water all on my hair yesterday when I did that. That waterproof test with my glue. But took the wig off. Now I'm about to jump in the shower. And it's given that we probably going to wear our real hair. Well, my real hair today. And my content. <laughs> Oh. 
I'm about to add some curls into my hair. And y'all, while I want to give y'all a talk, like, I'm not going to lie. Like, over the past couple of days, it has been getting to me that, you know, people are talking about me about my prices and such. It was. But I kind of let that go over my head of what God has been doing. God has actually been doing for me. God has been preparing me for this all along. I'm going to um, record this so I can post this on my Finsta. Stay right here. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so basically, like, I have been complaining because, like, you know, people kind of been giving me, like, People kind of like been bullying me in a sense about my prices, but I feel like I'm not doing anything but giving people a lesson on faith because people have suffered from having limited faith for so long that they feel like they have to put a cap onto their self. Self-worth is important. God feels like you're the greatest of all. So if you feel like this should happen for you. God is trying to tell you this is what's going to happen for you. If you just allow me to come in and do what I'm I'm trying to do for you. Accept what I'm trying to do. Like allow God into your heart. Like if you just follow God instead of man-made things, you'll be able to fulfill everything that he wants to happen for you. So let me stop it right here. Yeah, so basically like that's where the power of silence come in. Like I really let that kind of go over my head a little bit like you know like no nah, i'm gonna say something too but it's just like everybody has their own journeys everybody won't quite frankly get what you're doing everybody's gonna have their own opinion like about whatever because like i said when people people be having different relationships with god like your journey may be different from somebody else's you can't fully understand someone else's journey because y'all may not be on the same journey like you know as far as with your belief system so that's where I'm realizing okay well I see how where the power of silence is coming in for real for real but yeah like I feel like the pandemic was a shift for God and I feel like everybody knew that as well I had seen a video earlier on TikTok where the girl was like she felt like everybody that came into the industry and um they just think it's just a quick money, a quick money come up. Like Atlanta hairstylists, it ain't never been like this. But I just want to say, like, after I finished watching the video, she said she had been doing hair for eight years. And people that done came in a whole year ago and they straight popping. But I feel like that's just her, that's just her, you know, kind of. I feel like that's her call out to God right there. Like, you know, I feel like it's in the uh, why me, why them and not me type of sense. But it's just like a simple fact that when I actually took a look at her page, I saw that she only had maybe like 30 posts on her TikTok. For somebody like me that came in the game during the pandemic, I have like 477. You get what I'm saying? So compared to my four years of experience, well, I started TikTok in 2020, so and I didn't start doing hair in 2021. So compared to my three years of experience, compared to somebody's eight, you only have like 30 videos on your page compared to me having 477. So of course, like you get what I'm saying? Of course, people gonna know that I do hair because I'm constantly posting, I'm constantly promoting because God is allowing me to. God has allowed me to like, I don't know how to put it. Like, God, like, my own version, like, God has, like, woken me up every day. Put it in my, put it in my mind that you can do this. Have fun. Like, and then, like, half of the time, while I'm, most of the time while I'm making the videos, I'm making the videos because it's very fun to me. Like, I'm just doing my assignment. And a lot of people take that as if, like, especially when it's just, like, after you've done seen so much of what God has done for you and God will continue to do for you, he teaches you self-worth. And he'll teach you self-worth in every aspect. Like, 
as I was posting videos online, I was seeing how like I'll work with certain people and with, if I didn't know my word, I would kind of get it taken advantage over like in a sense that I wouldn't like. And I seen how that could have operated in every aspect of my life. Like, so it, you know, it caused me to really learn my self worth. Like, okay, so if I have all this going on, you know, I have a close connection with God. God is letting me know that everything is gonna be all right. I done got this far just using faith. I could do anything that I imagined I could. So I, I literally, I was able to see like how people blow up in such a small amount of time. God allows them to, God allows them to be an example of his word, of his word. God ordains everything and he, he gives us the choice of how we're going to use our gift, our talents. And I am just accepting the fact that I am. I am a product of God. Like, seriously, like, I'm just a product. And, you know, they talked about Jesus. They're going to talk about, they're going to continue to talk about somebody, like, that has a lot of faith. Not saying that. Like, I'm not trying to, like, I hope that I'm not coming off as cocky, but, like, y'all, I'm working on, I'm a working Christian like you know I'm working on my relationship as well so everything may not come out how I would want it to this is new for me actually just talked about my experience with having a close relationship with God on camera and actually hearing myself talk it's kind of dope so I don't want any of my words to sound like overconfident over cocky I'm not trying to be like that but I'm just letting you guys know that you know, most of these people, like the names that y'all give people, these people not money hungry. These people are doing their assignment. And that's just that. Everybody's not going to understand your assignment. And I learned that at church. Everybody's not going to understand your assignment. It's not meant for everybody to understand. I am, um, that's another thing that church taught me. Everybody is not going to understand your assignment, and it's not for you to make people understand. Your silence, your presence should do the talking, because it's just like, I want, like, and the word influencer goes over a lot of people's head, but I actually, this year, I actually got to really discover what was I actually an influence of. I'm an influence of God's greatness. It's not anything tangible. It's not, I'm not an influencer to a certain niche. I'm actually an influencer of Christ. All of this happened for me. All of this happened, like everything that I have going on, it happened for me in 2020. I didn't want to do none of this. <laughs> like I didn't, I came into I just came into this like God wanted this for me like God allowed me to see my true my true purpose and that's something that I'm like forever grateful for but you know God I'm not saying that it happens overnight but it takes you to actually want to yearn to have that connection with him like talk to him like I was just talking like when I say I was just talking I was like I just say simple things like you know God forgive me for my sins like you know God just keep me covered like just say a little simple stuff not even really like you know knowing you know if he gonna come through like cause it's just like I didn't really like know about I knew about God but it was more something on like Shoot, I used to question, like, is God real? But now I don't question it anymore because it's, like, clear as day. Like, he's there for me. Like, that's how I'm able to to talk on YouTube today and actually tell y'all about my experience. Because I'm not, like, I'm, like, so serious. Like, I was kind of, like, arguing. I found myself arguing back and forth with people. And I'm like, 
God just saved me for this. Like, I literally, I literally like blew up because of fighting with somebody for something stupid. And so now it's actually to the point where like, I felt like I went through a whole season of, you know, not allowing the enemy to win. And I felt like when that just happened, it triggered me all over again. Like it just, like I just kind of just forgot about all the growth that he's put me through, all the trials, the tribulations that he put me through to actually get here. And like I just let everything go down to the drain. So I had, I started digging a little deeper this morning. I turned on my gospel and then it just was like something just clicked. And I was like, wow. Cause I'm like, bro, people are not respecting me. And respect is a big thing for me because like i i never like w uh, want to get out of line where like okay i have to disrespect somebody else because they're not respecting me like and i found myself doing that like i found like i'm like i'm not upset at myself anymore but i found myself upset at myself yesterday for actually being disrespectful to a girl because she got on the line with me and when i get like when you have a level of IQ you really can get down into somebody's skin like and I know that about myself so I don't I don't really want to like that's not something that's something that God has saved me from so I saw myself and that side of me coming out again and I was just like bro like what am I doing for real and you know it just was it just allowed me to get on the camera and just talk and I was like wow like what did I put in my notes I put something in my notes. I said, God did a whole focus on God. When you focus on God, you focus on your purpose. God did a whole shift in the pandemic. And then I think that went over a lot of people's heads. Even though everything seemed like money, 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 but God did a whole entire shift. And I know y'all feel that shift. Y'all feel like everything is weird now. Everything isn't weird. It's just everything is brought to the actual surface of what it is and what it's not. Like it's very evident, like it's very evident like of what it is and what it's not. And somebody that has a close connection with God, they know what it is and what it's not. So I think I think that's really like what all I wanted to cover, but as I said, everybody doesn't have the same assignment. Yes, I do installs, but I also like it's just like I don't know, it kinda sucks that I'm not being uplifted for my price. I'm not uplifted. I'm not uplifted for knowing my worth. I'm not uplifted because I'm setting an example. I'm not tied to anything. Like I don't have a boyfriend. I don't I don't have a best friend. I have close friends that have their own connection with God so they understand so it's never really no like oh she's being funny no they understand the journey that I'm on if the people around you don't understand the journey that you're on they're not your friends the people around you are are not asking you how's if they know you're working on something they're not uplifting you letting you know oh you doing good girl okay cool well you just hit me up they're not giving you that personal space to work on you to be the best version of you those people are not your friends if those people are pulling you down into a space where like you may start thinking about things that don't benefit you the world if your friends are not bringing you close to god those are not your friends those are not your ideal friends. And maybe you would have to be that person that step in and say, hey, something has to change. And if they're they're willing to change, those are the people who, you know, you take in consideration and take with you. But if they're not willing to change, they can't respect that you're doing something, you know, positively for yourself. Get away from those people because they're going to keep dragging you down and keep straying you away from your true purpose. A lot of people get stuck in that trap. In school, people used to think that I was a little dumb, but I always was way ahead of my time. 
I understood things that the normal person wouldn't have understood. And it caused me to maybe have reacted a little late. Cause just like, even though we're here at the same place, I'm somewhere else. And it may scare some people how I'm talking, but you know, my people, my godly people, they know what I mean. I've always, I've always lived, I've always lived for the future. And you know, within last year, I had to kind of slow down. Like, it was like a big, like, okay, just chill. Like, take a chill pill, slow down and recognize what all I've been doing for you. I want you to really appreciate what I've done for you, all the work that you have done. I want you to really appreciate this so you can help people around you. And I'm like so thankful that that happened even though I felt like my whole life was falling apart. God, I thank you. Like, God, I thank you so much for the separation. I thank you for the things that you took from me. I'm thankful for the relationships that you got me closer with. I, I thank you for having a pure heart. God, I just thank you for, for everything that you have done for me and that you will continue to do for me. God, I just want you to put your hands over my family. Put your hands over my grandmother. Put your hands over my brothers. God, I thank you. Like I, I, I really appreciate you for allowing me, for allowing me to help lead your people. I'm not perfect. I don't try to be perfect. But God, I keep, keep instilling, instilling me with a pure heart. Keep instilling me with love. Keep instilling me with courage. God, I just thank you for allowing me for the things that you have done for me. My platforms. I'm sorry if I have abused use them in any way with my words i know words are powerful i know everything that you i know i know that the season that you put me through i got it i know it god i just want you to forgive me for my sins amen yeah like seriously y'all uh, god is real he hears you you just have to be obedient and you know the past couple of days, I just really ain't been as obedient. But now I have a clear, a clear vision on what he really wants me to do with my platforms. He didn't, he didn't give me this for no reason. That's why I've been stagnant. I've been abusing my power. That would no longer happen though. I don't know, like having a like having a business, having a social media presence is way bigger, bro. You influence people by like on a daily, by your whatever you post, what you say, you influence people. And I feel like that my purpose was actually to influence people to, to you know get closer to God. And getting closer to God means getting closer to your true self. He lives within us. But we all have our days. We're not perfect. And that's what I had to learn. Like, we're not perfect. Don't try to be perfect. I found myself, since October, I found myself trying to be perfect. Like, I don't know what I thought perfect was, but I felt myself, like, I felt like I couldn't do certain things, couldn't say certain things. Like, and God didn't want that of me. It's okay to make state, to make mistakes. He just wants you to know that he's here and how to know his voice. He just wants you to talk to him. Just talk to him. Just talk to him during the day. He knows we're not perfect. Like, don't be ashamed of what you do and think that he can't see. He sees everything. He knows we're gonna do it. He just really wants you to, you know, talk to him. Talk to God. Whether you think he's real or not, just, just say, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Say it out of nowhere, thank you, God. I start seeing the most progress when every time I seen, you know, quote unquote angel numbers, I said, I was saying, thank you, God, for showing me how great it's going to get. And then two, 
two, three weeks went by. I was having talks with my therapist. It got to where I start seeing, you know, I start seeing videos. Like I, I really do just start paying attention. Like I'm still paying attention to what's going on around me and connecting my thoughts on what I, the videos that I see and the things that I see around me, the people that talk to me. Like I'm still like trying to be more and more aware of that stuff. Like it's, I'm still working, but like on some days I probably will miss a whole day. Like I don't really understand nothing that went on or have I even tried to understand but when you do it's like a wow so I had to start saying thank you God for showing for thank you God for showing me how great it is and I feel like when I start seeing that I did a whole shift I did a whole shift because I start actually living in the present moment not anticipating for the future I actually was living for today the day that I'm in now but I was actually able to be appreciative of what I actually have right now what I has he have done for me right now and not even material things I'm talking about my mindset I'm talking about the love that I give I'm talking about my happiness I'm talking about my skin I'm talking about I'm talking about my eyes, the way my eyes look, my teeth look. I'm talking about the way how my voice just sounds like harmony. I start actually thanking him for that. When you start being appreciative of that, that's priceless. God's going to give you everything that you, 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 like you imagine. When you start asking God to complete your heart, fulfill your heart, it's different. It's a different approach. You're a different person. You're not full. You don't need those materialistic things to help you feel full. It's only temporary. It's a temporary feel. It's not real. Not saying don't go get those things, but I'm saying like you have to dig deeper when you want certain things. Having a peace of mind is priceless. And I really was blessed with that. Like it took it took me some time to realize, like, you know, having a peace of mind is just priceless. Like, real deal, just priceless. Like, and when you have a peace of mind, everybody around you can feel that. And you can help encourage the next people around you to have a peace of mind. It's like heaven on earth. <laughs> I started living heaven on earth in like it was the most amazing feeling ever. I actually got a taste of living heaven on earth. And I was actually able to, you know, experience that and tell God, thank you for showing me how great it already is. I just want y'all to take like at least an hour or two out of y'all day before y'all start the day before y'all get around anyway phrase it like give that time to God like give that time to actually worship you know God listen to some gospel music fill your mind body and soul with positive positive words Talk good about yourself. Tell yourself something good. Don't wait on other people to validate you. Allow God to validate you. Allow God to validate you and even be. Somebody wrong you, pray for them. Don't go tit for tat. I don't go tit for tat. It. I'm gonna show y'all like the finishing look of my hair. Oh yeah, y'all might ask what am I using, but I'm using Miel products and mousse. But yeah. I gotta show you hair. 
awesome for you leave <laughs> y'all look at my baby yeah yeah is she turning 15 yeah ah, yes y'all just look at how she look let me get to her, her hair though like And this is a wig from my collection. Yeah. Yeah.